it's not a Friday night stream. <laughs> And I guess audio is working just fine. Uh, so it's Monday, and uh, I'm going to kick off our uh, spoopy spectacular with a little adventure in Oblivion, uh, joined here by our little friend Edgar, who's kind of going to be our mascot uh, for this week. So say hello to Edgar. Uh, you will probably see him again. Uh, anyway, so I hope this doesn't, like, utterly crash. I uh, tested this a few times earlier today. I haven't played Oblivion on stream yet, so we'll see how this goes. So uh, yeah, let's hop on over uh, to the other screen and let's see what's happening. Oh, dramatic music. Okay, well, it looks like Oblivion. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is, uh, <laughs> hey, Mega Terra Nova. <laughs> yes, let me, let me mess up everybody's days. Uh, so, um, I will bring you over here. I will, uh, introduce you to, uh, America, um, Marika. Um, so, uh, <laughs> in true form. Uh, I'm playing a Dark Elf Assassin. Uh, this is a Mod Podge of all sorts of armors here. Um, but anyway, um, Marika, um, is, uh, just cruising around, uh, Cyrodiil, um, you know, uh, taking out some bad guys, helping out some good guys, and generally enjoying that, uh, neutral evil lifestyle. Um, yeah, so clearly I've been playing, um, Marika, uh, for a little while now. Um, man, I am not putting the accent in the right place tonight. Marika. Anyway, so I was looking through, uh, her act, you know, her quest log and realized there's a few things I haven't, I haven't done yet. I have not done the main quest with her, um, mostly because the main quest utterly just destroys the landscape, and I wanted to enjoy that as much as possible. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what she's rolling around with. We're doing okay on weight right now. Not great, but we're okay. We have, um, a whole lot of potions, but, uh, just like Bellari, we're going to, uh, play her uh, like a night blade. So, um, so assassin with some, uh, Daedric help. So I think, uh, I did at least get us here to the lovely town of Coral. It might actually still be nighttime. So perhaps it would be actually, let's see if there's a bed for us here. Uh, as we are, um, a mage. That is one thing we have done, is, uh, we have completed the, uh, mage's guild, uh, quest. Um, hold on. Let me, uh, okay, this, this is literally as slow as I can make the mouse speed. Okay. All right, I hope that's a little less nauseating for you guys. I know I have a tendency to run around really, really fast in every single game I play. Um, so we will try to uh, slow that down. Let me just scoot. Okay, that might actually be too slow. <laughs> All right, that, feel, that feels good. Uh, any free beds? I don't know if there's going to be a free bed for us, but that's okay. And... We might actually have to properly go to a tavern. I, some of the halls have like a free bed or two, but I don't think Coral is one of them. Um, yeah.
but coral is an absolutely uh, gorgeous, gorgeous town. And somewhere along the line, let's see, that's the yacht. Aha! The Oak Enclosure. So we would like a bed, please. Good friend, this is an honor. Hi. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. Well, thank you. Uh oh. <coughs> bed, please. There's one available for the night. If you're interested, it'll be ten gold. What do you say? Sounds like a bargain. The room is upstairs, first door to the left. Sleep well. All right. Take care. So yeah, uh, Oblivion definitely. At least the character models are a little, you know, funny. But uh, I think that the visuals for the backgrounds and the uh, aspects are soup like the. Okay, we're apparently sleeping for two hours. Um, for the assets, uh, they look super good. And we have finally slept, which apparently I didn't realize I had not slept in a while. Okay, well. Alright, well, let's increase personality. And... Uh, we're actually going to increase strength a little bit, and um, we are going to increase speed. Alright. So, let's see. I don't even remember what I have here. Okay. So... Apparently, I have a bow and um, the Grim Retort, uh, which is one of my favorite melee weapons. It's not a uh, an elegant uh, weapon, but it is, you know, something. So, okay, so it's just very dark today, just because of the rain, but we want to go... Puffers, the dogs, I have such a hard time deciding um, which I like more, whether it's the um, the dogs in Oblivion or Skyrim, because they're both so stinking cute. Like, you have an Irish wolfhound and you have this Siberian husky. Like, seriously. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Um, tell me a little bit about coral. If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. Hmm. Good day. Okay, so we might have to go and come back, but she is going to have a quest for us. Hi. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Uh, yes I am. I'm pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Uh, tell me about your mom. My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Oh, then we've met. That Ramalas Briant sure loves his dogs. A little too much, if you ask me. Oh, spicy. You too. Okay. So we are well on our way. Um, speaking of dogs, she seems nice. Irena Briant. I love dogs. Doesn't everyone? Tell me about Coral. They probably call us the dog people here in town. 
Ramalis and I love dogs. We have quite a few. So sweet and well behaved, you wouldn't believe. Uh, tell me some memories. We've been to the chapel. The gauntlets are gone. Yeah. Bye. I might know something about that. All right, um, let's see if I have anything to repair. So if you don't know, um, the lovely young lady we've met, just met, Dharma, Hello. is going to go Shida, missing. The Smith, and this is fire and steel, quality armor and weapons, repairs too. What can I do for you? Well, Rashida, let's see um, if I have anything Let that's broken. Let me take a look at what you've got. Uh, Caliban's uh, Grim Retort. Yeah, so I have some sweet Morag Tong gear um, that I acquired accidentally uh, early game. Um, hello. Nice town, but you need money here to live well. Head out of town and do some hunting. Sell the skins, or you can loot old caves and ruins. I will take that under advisement. Nice tip. Um, all right. What can I interest you in? Uh, do we have anything that we can sell her? Uh, we do. We have a whole bunch of stole gems and things. That's more than I usually pay. All right, well that Another works. Another satisfied customer. So I believe Take we're care. going to have to wait about a day, but no harm in uh, getting some logistical Over. things out of the way. A pleasure to speak with you. Let's see if we, if we have anything she wants. Goods and lowest prices in all uh, we have a ring. Yeah, we're not rolling in it quite as much as we are in Skyrim, but we're doing okay. Okay, well, I don't need that. That scene. Um... So I haven't done the Dark Brotherhood yet, so I do want to save, like, hard um, my potions of chameleon and that sort of thing. Let's be honest, I'm not going to use fire shield. I just, that I know I won't. A fair price. A fine a fine I do appreciate the fact that it's like, this is per item. Um, because, <laughs> oof, yeah, you know, oh, she'll buy my reagents too, very nice. That scene. And uh, we gotta hold on to these guys because, uh, uh I have the, um, the roots quest going right now, um, where you actually get to meet the original Cinderian. We found his, um, his remains when we were in Blackreach, as you might remember, so... Yeah, I think we can actually do better than that now. Um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna hold on to these guys. Maybe absorb health I'll, I'll part with, because they are heavy um, if you let them pile up. Uh, just kind of like arrows in Skyrim, it's uh, totally okay if you hoard them, but like, you can't do that in Oblivion. <laughs> um, I guess we'll sell these. Got him. Oh, that one's a good one, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, and I have, um, completed, um, oh, what is this one? I forget what the weather word one is, but, uh, the Rumar, that's the one where you have to, like, find the, Thank you for uh, your patronage. uh, slaughterfish scales. 
for that guy uh, right outside oh, of um, Imperial City. Oh, I knocked over their vegetables. I'm sorry. So, what time is it? It's 9.45. Well, you know, we can always just uh, go outside and get into some mischief and come back. Let's go ahead and look at our map. I think that the map in Oblivion is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Like, it's it's a map, like, aged and, I don't know. I also like not having to deal with the three-dimensional to topography a little bit. Um, or the, uh, uh, so there's the, um, um, oh, it's not a, not an Ori, but yeah, Priory, that's what I'm thinking of. So, but we have uh, plenty of other forms of mischief we can get into. Um, actually hoping for a cave. I'm sure there's an undiscovered cave down here. Oh, oh wait, have I done this yet? I think this is the farm that you defend from the goblins with the brothers. But I think you actually have to encounter them in town. So I am high enough level though that um <laughs> that trolls are actual concern. And for some reason, even though um they hit about the same as they do in Skyrim, I find them way more alarming because they're so well camouflaged. There we go. So used to playing with the gamepad. Oh, I think I've, I think I've actually been here and I've already thrown those out. Well, it's not a cave, it's a fort, but, uh, who am I to complain? Um, so because I have like the, um, the more tongue here, let me see if I can... Mm. No... No... Uh, yeah, I do not play this on, like, ridiculous difficulty because... Yeah. Okay, I don't think I can actually adjust the gamma, unfortunately, guys. Although, I don't know if there's actually anything in here for us to find. Yeah, it's dark for me too. But, I do have, um... Let's see here if I can show you my gear real quick. So, um... So... Absorption, which is kind of nice because you kind of uh, recoup your mana by fighting someone else. Um, water breathing, uh, fortify sneak. But this Moritan Cowl is honestly where it's at. It's basically like constantly having the detect life. Um, oh yeah, hey, there's something for us to hunt. I'm all for that. I have no idea what that was. Oh, it's a goblin. Ah, oh, okay. So we're fighting goblins. So... That's kind of fun because goblins are like the best way I have found to get lockpicks in this game. 
Because you can't just go to Belathar and be like, hey, you shady butt face. Do you have to watch for traps, though, because they hurt a lot more. Which is one of the reasons I don't play Oblivion on a ridiculous difficulty. Um, that looks good. That looks fine. You can keep your heavy mace. Um, speaking of... Oops. Uh, yeah, see? Maybe you can't. I don't know. It is quite dark. But yeah, having that, like, detect life enchantment is so stinking helpful. Yeah, see? Lockpicks. Because there's no Bellathor, there's no... Oops. Kind of like the... Oop, I just walked into a trap because I was talking too much. Okay, but please explain to me how that goblin didn't set it off. Oh, you know what? I bet that was trapped. Hmm... Like the the monies that you earn so much less. Wow. And uh, if you don't know, you can't just like you don't just heal automatically. I know most people most people have played Oblivion, but not everyone has. Uh, what's going on here, weapon? Nope. Do not want to waste those. There we go. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Um, I do enjoy the diversity of the, um... Let me see if I can at least. Oh my goodness, my monitor uh, <laughs> brightness is turned all the way up. Uh, cheap wine, cheap wine. Um, I do like the kind of creativeness of the spells too. So like the whole silence thing because uh, in Oblivion, um, silent spell casting is a thing because you know like if um you cast a spell in skyrim you ba you're making sound which is why like when you summon an atronach or um a bound weapon that's a little bratty they are cuter than the skyrim ones <laughs> they don't have that weird like ball disease looking belly <laughs> I'm good on rat meat. I do not desire a rat burger today, thank you. Hmm. So essentially like, um, obviously unless you take the feet silent casting, which I think comes much later, um, if you're doing the magics, um, you need to have a, your spells all have a verbal component. Oh. Okay, so that was the way out. Eh, that's okay with me. <laughs> Put this guy away. Oh, what did I say? Okay, there should be a way here. Ready, go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh. I even looked specifically for that, uh, 
for that ledge. <laughs> See what I mean? They're super, um, oh, that's actually worth quite a bit. Okay. They're super camouflage. So like coming out of there, Oh my goodness. You're just like, hi. Alright, what time is it? Oh, we have enemies nearby? Okay. But where though? More trolls? Goblins? Maybe there's goblins up top. Man, he came for me too. Usually the the like little cross ledge here. Um I don't know what to call that. I guess that's just like a support. It's such a good like perch because their pathfinding really struggles with that sometimes. Not this time. Oh well. Dead goblin. Yeah, I've definitely been I have been here through here at some point. Oh look at all these jams. But why though? Uh, so I do like the fact that you can cast the spell without like putting away your bow. You just kinda Hold on to it for a second. Okay. Yeah, this is about all we have here. Mm. Well, that's too far for us to jump. Okay. Because we will die. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is something... Um, just like an actual like tabletop RPG. You do have to heal yourself. Like... That XP doesn't just trickle back. Can you kind of see Imperial City from here? Put our weapon away. No, no need to scare the farmers. Hey, buddy. Well met. Oh, hi, Kellen. The assassinations. What else is there to talk about? Perfectly planned and executed. The blades perfectly useless. Complete disaster. And you too. This looks like a soldier. Yeah. But I mean, like, look how immense it is. It's so cool. Okay. Um. Let's see if we have anything quick in our. We do not. Uh, here. Mm, pardon me. Oh uh, yeah, let's go to Skingrad and uh, talk to Sindarian. Did I not make that my We're looking for the inn. I find Skingrad a little, a little challenging to navigate sometimes. Hello. Hi. 
What is it? What's going on with you? I have heard that Nord worried. Hello. Any more luck finding Nernroot? Yes. If you need to know more about the Nern... Here's a weak elixir of exploration. Not bad, eh? If you want more, you can buy them from me. I've discounted them for you, of course. Any more luck finding Nernroot? Yes. Amazing! You found 20 more samples of Nernroot. Well done. I think if I'm to create a strong version of the elixir, I'm going to need an even greater number of Nernroot samples than before. 30 should do it this time. Yes, that would be perfect. Oh, and as usual, I'll have the moderate elixir ready in 24 hours. Sweet. And do I, in fact, have 30 more? I do. Fantastic. All right, well, that's one, one more thing. Free bed. <laughs> it didn't tell me I couldn't sleep here. But apparently I got kicked out. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to head back to Coral and see a new friend. So rainy. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Because I completed the Knights of the Nine quest. So I'm a knight in all of my chivalry. Yes, of course. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Castor Scribonia, the writer, author of Woman Gone Wild. Okay. Who is the fairest of them all? Other than myself. The proprietor of the Grey Mare is lovely. She and the guard captain would be a nice couple. Any rumors? There's a man at the Coral Chapel living in the Undercroft. I heard he's dying of something. Well, that's sad. Be seen. Wonder if we can meet him. In the Undercroft, huh? Plus, she always gives a better deal to her friends. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work here. But sometimes, if you just watch them do something, um, there's a couple examples. Um, When you're doing the main quest and you meet the blades for the first time, you can watch some of them spar. And then there's also some Fighters Guild members who spar. Um, and you can learn something from like observing them. But apparently not in that circumstance. I do for you tonight. In Coral, we Highlanders treat our God's teachings as rules to live by. Our lives are governed by the Ten Commands. Okay. Farewell.
doggos. I I hope I can help. No, I don't wanna ask about Joffrey. Goodbye. Like how she definitely brought them to church. Interesting. Well, we are in the Undercroft, aren't we? I don't see anyone. wonder if there's a certain time of day we have to come here. There's no one down here right now. I did notice. Is it down here? There was a bed. Here. We might have to come back at like night or something. Anyway, that's something for later. I was just curious. I mean, some of those quests, like, all you have to do is provide someone with, like, a... Interesting. Carolyn of Solitude. Or Caroline. That's fancy. But it gets cold down here. Blessings. I'm Oreg Rabargal, servant of Stendar. May you grow in the faith. Uh, rumors, please. I saw Vallis O'Deal at the Grey Mare again today. Hasn't been the same since his boys took off. Interesting. She sells Be potions. Seeing you. Senathar, Talos, Stendar, Tabella, yes, perfect. Welcome, Divine Crusader. Nah, uh, just Joffrey. You see. Something tells me if well, I want to talk to somebody living under the Undercroft or in the Undercroft, we'll have to come back in the evening. But. That was enough horsing around. Let's go back to the entrance of the city. Interesting. Farewell. I don't think I finished that, did I? owns this shop. She would be glad of your business. That Ramallah's Briant sure loves his dogs. A little too much if you ask me. Good okay. Day. 
Good afternoon. Let's wait a day. It's a little bit strange. Usually it just trigger, trigger, bleh, triggers after you've been here a day, but we might have to leave and come back. It's honestly been raining here for several days. Um, if you've seen the... Nope, she's still here. Well, you know, we can, uh... I can see you are a kind soul, gentle lady. Alright, have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. Some of them... Some of the, like, beggars, for lack of a nicer word some really strange uh oh it's just a horse just running they i don't know they just say it's super creepy if you're looking to buy a horse go inside and talk to bongard okay that's a weird name mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me just take a peek if there's a better way for me to initiate this. Okay, so we need to be gone for three days. So, what do we have that's open? Well, you know what? I know how to distract us for a couple days. Let's go not to Valinwood, to Anvil. This one's kind of funny, actually. Greetings, Dunmer. No. Hello there. I've heard rumors. Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. Talk I assume her. that... She seems to have all the answers. How would you like to get my husband Gogan out of hot water? I'm usually pretty good at that. Sure, what's he's done? Believe me. He'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme. Ugh. I could kill him. I'm sorry. I'm rambling, and you look confused. Let me explain. Go on. The women in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. The city guard hasn't done very much about it, because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. Well, uh, what, what more can you tell me? When Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. No, it's not what you're thinking. Why do they he have so many teeth? He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. The ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. 100 gold. 
All right. Can you help us? Sure. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't offer you much help, but I'll do what I can. Anything more? All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Gogan may be able to give you more information beyond that. Mm-hmm. But can you tell me about Anvil? I like it here. People are very friendly. Much nicer than in the Imperial City. The flowing bowl attracts mm -hmm. the worst and What do you want? So tell me about this gang. You see, my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly they brandished weapons and robbed me. Sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing, harlots. Just please help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. I like how he calls them harlots, but like he he's married and went off with two beautiful women to a farmhouse or barn or something. Hey, welcome to the chat. Uh, and welcome to Not the Friday Night Stream. We're gonna play a little bit of Oblivion. Um, I'm just waiting for, um, uh, an event to trigger, but we're going to, uh, do kind of a spooky quest today because it's Halloween week. All right. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to trigger, um... We're investigating uh, a gang of women who are robbing men blind <laughs> in Anvil. Interesting. Go on. I wasn't even okay. The flowing bull, huh? Hi. Anrik Okenhull, captain and shipmaster. My ship is in for refitting, so I'm high and dry for a while. So, yeah, okay. Good day. Oh, it must be someone upstairs. Hail. No. Talk to Faustina. She's got a proposition for you. Signy Homewrecker. I love it. I've seen you here before. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. And I'm oh, sure I love Anvil. Anvil <laughs> has got a lot going on. I've put together a, well, a gang. We make money by luring fools out to the middle of nowhere and robbing them blind. I like how they just come out with their plan. men who are easily fooled into believing they will have their way with us. <laughs> men are so gullible. I'll leave the decision up to you. If you want to join up, meet us at the Gwedden Farmhouse around 11 in the evening. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, and one more thing. If you breathe a word of this to the city guard, you won't live long enough to get whatever reward they're offering. Sure. Just to be perfectly clear, we're not prostitutes. We do everything on our own terms and the men never ever lay one hand on us the yes i love it signy homewrecker that's Greetings, subtle what's going on with you it's so subtle um i have to say that is like the one thing about oblivion's quest that i will say is um they are inventive they're so inventive. Um, I do, I am very fond of the haunted house. Now don't get me wrong, um, the uh, Moloch Ball uh, Daedra quest in Skyrim does have that haunted Hello. house feel, but it's You're not the, the same, person. not at all.
I'm also particularly partial to Anvil just because I think it's an absolutely beautiful little city. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little save here, a real save. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just the whole town. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, like you can tell that um, by the age of Skyrim that that Skyrim, the, the country of Skyrim in particular, um, is going through kind of a, a dark age, whereas you can see like a real um, kind of varying degrees of, of wealth and education and uh, diversity in, um, in Cyrodiil, probably because it is, uh, you know, home to the Imperial City. Um, but yeah, it does... Um, it seems to be doing just a little bit better, and maybe that is because of the Empire's presence and its reach, but uh, it's very obvious, like, in Skyrim, all, all the cities are kind of falling apart. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't believe that. Not one bit. Let's just take a look at her. 11 in the evening. I just don't think it's that late. That's why. Let's see here. I see you decided to take us up on our offer. Good. We could use another gal oh, in the game. There's so many teeth, it's so weird. Here's how it works. We case the flowing bowl for a likely subject. Namely, we look for a married guy who drinks. I guess a married guy is more likely to have Then we'll send you in there stuff. Where you charm the man and get him to come out to some location we pick to rob him. When he gets there, we make him take off all his clothes, which is very easy, by the way. While they're helpless, that's when we spring the trap. So far, we haven't had to draw one drop of blood. The best part of the whole thing is that the men are so embarrassed, they won't tell the guards. So, the bottom line is, you show a little skin, just a tease, no one touches you. What do you say? Sure, why not? Well, that's never happened before. I suppose we'd have to kill you. I mean, we can't have you going back to Anvil and ruining the whole plan. But why say no when it's so much easier and more lucrative to say yes? Or are you here for something else? Oh, I guess Damn, we're I doing this it. now. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't uh, think they would no, be stupid I don't really work for anyone. Home. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake. Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. Whoa! 
Oh, I'm sorry. Did that, does that burn? Close quarters, huh? Did she just... Did she just insult me? Honestly, I think it would have been fun to, like, have the option to infiltrate the gang for a while and um, kind of set them up. Like, you uh, set up the Crooked Guard in uh, Imperial City where you have to prove um, that he's been, like, uh, squeezing money out of those um, those vendors. After entering the farmhouse, I encountered Faustina, who tried to convince me to join in that their scheme. When I told her no, she yelled out and the rest of the gang entered the room fully armed and ready for battle. I had no choice but to kill them. We had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Yeah, not Pass really. Away. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. I suppose you could say we work undercover. We've been trying to foil Christina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. Okay. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. And Faustina? We'll clean up the mess. Don't concern yourself about it. I'm sure you had no choice. No, never. If you ever find yourself back in Anvil, stop by any time and say hello. Oh, and please say nothing to anyone about our true identities. I, I wear You've a cowl well. during the and day. I don't think I'm going to rat you I out, promised. I promise. All right, that works for me. Don't spend all the money from the reward in one place. Sorry, can't talk right now. It's got mm -hmm. a lot to do here. We can talk later in Anvil. Yeah, I, I do like just the variety and creativity of the uh, Oblivion um, Sorry, can't. quest. There, there is something about them that are just. Um, got a lot to do here. We can talk later in Anvil. So we'll come back here when they are not here, hopefully, and raid her basement. Um, yeah, kind of like uh, the the painting with the you know, the magic brush and um, some of them are just really quirky. Even like the really um, like early ones, um, the. Uh, like uncommon goods, which is where you have you find out that like um, the new merchant in Imperial City is getting all of his goods for resale um, from grave robbing, and he's just like the patsy essentially. Like he's the front and doesn't know he's a front for like an illegal operation. I kind of feel bad for the guy because he's not very bright. Like he just doesn't even think to question it. Like, I, I, if it's too good to be true, it's it's really just too good to be true. <laughs> um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Skyrim. It's my favorite game. It's my comfort food song. But um, at the same time, I'm also the first to say, you know. <laughs> there are just things that Oblivion did do better. Oh yeah, it's super, I mean, there are definitely some things. Well, let's see, we've got um, green glowing fire, we have some tombstones, smells like necromancers, let's find out. Let's just see how we're doing over here. Doing okay on power, I guess. And, um... The frames look good. Okay. 
could also just be magic goblins. Yeah, the definitely the it's a shame. And as I said earlier, the oh, it's a statue of Mara, or I think it is. Um the scenery and the assets are absolutely gorgeous. Um in some ways because um Cyrodiil is so much more lush than Skyrim. Um it kind of looks like watercolors in places. But, oh, and the thing is, is the character models in Morrowind were definitely goofy. They kind of have that kind of almost stick figure, like first gen Sims look to them. But I don't think there's as big of a difference between the character models between... Morrowind and Oblivion as there is between Oblivion and Skyrim. Although, um, certainly again, like the backgrounds and the game assets are so much nicer. Um, I do appreciate that all three games, now I haven't played Daggerfall, um, and certainly not Arena, um, but I have played a little ESO, and I do appreciate the fact that um, like, the books are the same. You know, you go to a book anywhere on Tamriel, and there's, like, some, some core things you're just going to find. Um, one thing that's improved is this awful running animation. Can we talk about this? Like, oof. They run like five-year-olds in gym class. <laughs> well, it, it gives, uh, certainly it gives the world a certain, like, authenticity that, um, that each game, even though it's the same universe, it could have very easily, um, felt like each one was so distinct that they existed in a vacuum, and they didn't. Um, and you find the same books in ESO, which I really appreciate. Um... Apparently, um, <laughs> curious folks from, uh, all over Tamriel, uh, enjoy, um, having a battered copy of the Lusty Argonian Maid, both Volumes 1 and the Oso Coveted Volume 2. So, okay, let's, let's look at this inside map here. Uh, okay, so back out and to the left. Uh, one thing that I do have to say Skyrim, um, improved, at least for me, and maybe just because I'm lazy, is, uh, I do appreciate, um, the devs planned more satisfying exits from the dungeons. Um, I honestly don't enjoy having to loop around and... Like, you just fought your way for 30 minutes through the deepest dungeons, and now you, as the victor, now just have to trudge your way back through. No, I, I want there to be a hidden panel, I want there to be um, a stony overhang that just happens to overlook the entrance and just make my exit. I want to I wanna feel that sense of accomplishment without the drudgery. Um, there's a couple, um, there are a couple, uh, dungeon crawls, especially with, like, the Daedric quest, as I remember, that, uh, do that in Oblivion, but for the most part, you're just kind of going back where you came from. 
Really? Am I just hitting the ground? Yes, I am just hitting the ground. Um, uh-oh. We need to... Switch. And this is another thing. Uh, while... What do you mean I can't... There we go. Um, the fact that phantasms require silvered weapons. Alright, where is my ton of... Uh, like, you can't just kill... A ghost or apparition with literally anything. It has to be silvered. It has to be magic. No, I'll take that though. So anyway, um, so for those who haven't figured it out, uh, we are going to be playing um, the Hack Dirt uh, quest tonight. Um, just have to get it to trigger, which I just need to spend three days, uh, three in-game days outside of uh, Coral and Return and uh, Dharma should um, be gone by then. So. Um, as I uh, announced in my regular Friday stream, uh, we will be, uh, there should be content, new content almost every day this week, uh, and I was kind of working on some projects, oh, uh, speaking of apparitions, oh, that's gonna hurt, alright, let's heal up, um, so uh, hopefully, tom not tomorrow, but Wednesday, um, because I do unfortunately have to uh, go into work tomorrow night. Yes, I said I was on vacation, but here we are. Anyway, um, but um, for you to, who, uh, the Halloween, um, uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? The Halloween event on ARC starts tomorrow, so I'm hoping there will be a little bit of, um, we might just hop into my personal server and just see what, um, cool things we can find on the server, even if we just kind of peruse it a little bit. Oh, that is a very soft, very, very fast zombie. Don't get me wrong, I actually prefer the, uh, the fast zombie uh, trope over the, like, slow one. It almost makes a little bit more sense to me. Oh, nope, we do not want that. Ugh, why would I carry something so ugly and heavy? Hero skeleton, okay. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Or Wednesday. I keep saying tomorrow, but I do mean Wednesday. Uh, I've also recorded a few uh, new book readings for you guys. All obviously spoopy, and uh, we will kick off a new uh, spoopy uh, series for Fridays. So yeah. And then we have some spoopy crafties as well. So I think it's going to be a good week. It'll be a very full week. <laughs> so, yes. Am I encumbered or am I just stuck on something? Is there anything else on this map? Mm, yes, actually. I'm going the wrong way. This might, in fact, be it. Okay. Well, I asked for a cave. I got a cave, didn't I? Hmm. 
can get this guy, right? Yeah. So far, I haven't been able to open any of them. Okay, well, let's go back. No? Yes? Oh, it's so dark. called like the smoke hole cave. Well done guys, you, you named it so wood. Okay. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but that definitely looks like Mara. Anytime I see a lady with her hands extended and a like head covering, I'm like, could be Virgin Mary? Could be uh, the Virgin Guadalupe, or it could be Mara. These these are our choices, and only our choices. All right, let's put this away. I accidentally okay. I accidentally toggled off run all the time. Ah, it's caps lock. Okay. There we go, because I'm lazy. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna wait for like a whole day and then like another day. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to Coral. <sighs> so, and uh, just like Friday night, we've got our Halloween tea. It's very vanilla-y, I really like it. Uh, since I got my booster <laughs> this week, I've literally just been drinking tea and sleeping for like a couple days. Um, I've done a little bit of work in between, but mostly it's just sleep and tea and more sleep. Uh, legit on Saturday, I ended up napping almost seven hours. At that point, that's not really napping. That's just like a whole, I just slept again in the middle of the day, but oh yeah, I definitely needed it. So, feeling pretty good today. Um, ooh, what is the Halloween blend? Uh, it is the Plum Deluxe um, Halloween blend black tea. So it's um, black tea uh, with uh, vanilla. It's actually a couple kinds of vanilla and um, like whole dried apple pieces. Um, my inclination is always to, like apple must have cinnamon. But this is, I've resisted the urge to put a uh, Harney and Sons hot cinnamon, uh, hot cinnamon spice in here. It's so mellow. Like if you get like an apple dumpling or an apple pie and it has, it's like the gooey liquid inside, that's what this tastes like. Um, again, it's like a really mellow black tea. I think it's an Assam, but it's more mellow, almost like a, like a Ceylon. So it's really nice. It's really smooth. Greetings, Dunlap. Hiding citizen. Um. Tea is just a happy place for me. <laughs> so. What time is it? It is 12 p.m. So hopefully. I got I'm never too busy for good talk. Yeah, um, I, so far, have loved everything from Plum Deluxe, so, here we go. I don't mean to There we go! you can help me. My daughter, Dama, is missing, and I don't know what to do. Uh, well, what happened? That's right. My daughter, Dama, never came back from Hackdirt. I'm yeah, um, after I started the channel, um, a friend of mine sent me a gift from another tea company, and... Their customer service wasn't great so i kind of like 
shut off all my ads for that company on my Facebook and other social media. And then I started getting ads for Plum Deluxe, which is um, based out of Oregon. And uh, they're an LGBT owned company. They use a lot of like local ingredients. Um, yeah, and they're, and they're like, I'll explain it. They're loose sleeve tees, but they're like chunky. So they're kind of like pretty to look at. They're not just like tea powder. Um, I mean, if you want tea powder, you can get tea powder, like matcha and stuff, but it's like, it's like actual tea and like my apple pieces are like actual dried apple pieces and that kind of thing. Um, the, uh, coconut chai has actual chai, like shaved, um, coconut pieces. Um, and then the, um, Rainy Day Pura actually has like ginger pieces in it. So it's really good. Um, yeah. The coconut chai is so good. Now, I drink my tea and my coffee black, um, but I the coconut chai with just like a splash of like coconut milk is so good. It's so good. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to a Tira Moslin and Hector, so I would start there. In case it may be useful, she was with Blossom, her horse, I mean. Aww. Dharma loves that animal and would never willingly abandon her. Yeah, I don't really go for, like, floral teas, but, like, the spicy. The best daughter a mother yes. could ask for. <laughs> kind-hearted and a friend to everyone she meets uh well tell me about Hector a rather isolated village south of Coral we do some business with the trader there small volume but she pays well normally I make the deliveries but oh you should um well, and so the coconut chai time. is a year-round flavor or at least so far it has been so and I think they might be running a sale on chais right now uh yeah um at least I got her? an ad for that in my email something about they're doing like a something with chai so I am so okay take care All right, so let's go ahead and give this a proper save, just in case something funky happens. Like I said, I've never run Oblivion. Um, it's Chai Month. Um, if you ask me every month this Chai Month, I will drink. Uh, so uh, I'm located in Central California. So um, summer here is like six months long. <laughs> But even when it's like 110, sometimes I'm like, mmm, but that chai though. <laughs> uh, I will sweat through a cup of chai. I just, I like spicy Donna. tea so much. But, yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that was actually, like, I just, I really like tea. I grew up with grandmas. Um, and having a British great-grandmother, um, tea took priority over coffee um, in her house. So um, when I was putting together, um, okay, you live in Texas. So yeah, so not only hot, but also sticky. Yeah. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, like I love an iced coffee so much um like even like a like an ice pour over but um i don't know cold beverages don't do the same for me as a hot beverage does yeah but yeah no i grew up with tea and now i'm an adult i can afford nice tea um like it's just a big part of my life so when I was coming up with the conception for like a YouTube channel, I'm like, I just want to be chill and play video games and do some crafties and, and like, just be chill. And then I was like, ah, and tea, because tea is the chillest. So that's, yeah. 
So that's where the Manda T and me, because you guys are the me part, and I'm Manda. And all the T. Oh, oh, hi, random person. Let me give you some advice, stranger. Leave. Now. You ain't welcome here. All right, Hector. Outsiders came and burned our town years ago. Ruined us. But we'll get ours back one day soon she is angry look at look at this face like yeah i feel like there are so many and and that's that's totally a thing just like the high energy gamer that's not me that is so not me like even fighting dragons or aliens or whatever i just it's an escape to another world, and I just want to drink tea, sometimes wine, um, and just hang out, play video games, yeah. <laughs> this face, <laughs> hold on, let me open up the, like, personality thing and see how much she dislikes it. Say what you're going to say. Four! I have never, never had a starting, like disposition as low as four. Oh, it's so bad um hey wheezy welcome to not a friday night stream we're just talking tea and oblivion so i thought the hack dirt quest was like the perfect spooky halloween adventure to play so yeah welcome are you Getting ready for work? Okay, so... Sorry, I don't get it. Don't waste... That's enough. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I won her over a little bit. Ha! Ah, ten times what we started with. What nonsense. Sorry, I don't get gracious. What? That's enough. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you don't work today. <laughs> Chill out. Mm, just enjoy the day. I'm technically on a staycation this week, but I do have to go into work tonight. Well, Tuesday night. I guess it's Tuesday for you now. And, um,. Uh, oversee some stuff because sometimes being yeah in charge means going into work on vacation so but I'm off the rest of the week and I have some spooky things planned for the whole week so I'm glad you came to hang out all right sorry I don't get it mm, I can't something argue tells me you don't get a lot of jokes it's amazing Oh man, this lady cute. liked us so, so not at all, and My now she's going to have to like us. Can't talk. Don't talk such <laughs> oh man, those personality skills coming through. Just, don't try to. I can't. Gracious, what a hero. So I have like a crafty thing that I've planned for this week, but it's got so many like little pieces. It's kind of like the. Um, little seaside, like, little, um, like, dollhouse thing I made for the channel, like, really early this year. But it's, it's bigger, and it's kind of Halloween-y, but it has so many little pieces, and it involved painting. So, yeah. She looks like your high school math teacher. She does have that, like, you're gonna need trigonometry for everything, I promise, sort of face. Like, please take me seriously. Don't be wrong, some people need trigonometry for their jobs, but like most people don't. <laughs> um, I guess we'll do My this. Is drab and wretched by comparison. Not now. I bet it you is. Mean, that's just stupid. Uh, but yeah, so I, I did start assembling some pieces for that project and, and doing the painting ahead of time. Definitely <laughs> Matt 
teacher vibes, right? She kind of reminds me of the teacher I had for both algebra and then trig in high school. And I'm just like, I don't understand because some math teachers are so cool. Like the person I had for geometry was also a physics professor. Um, so like he was fun guy. Like I'm going to date myself a little bit here, but he was like hip at that time. And, um, he wanted to provide like help for students as much as possible. So he had like a AOL instant messenger account, like just for talking to his students. And literally from like the moment like school ended till like 10 PM, like any night of the week, you could ask him anything about math or physics or basically anything school related. And he would literally just like work it through. It was so nice. Um, this lady is not that. Wow, it just keeps dropping. Like, it's just not gonna happen. My Oops. life is drab. I screwed I that up. Fight. That's just not no! nonsense. Okay. Don't try to manipulate. You win this one. Oh, I got Sorry, distracted. I, I made My it worse. Life is drab and wretched by comparison. Um. She likes this one. You win this one. She hates this Don't one. Talk. This what one a likes gracious. this one. What a hero. I'll do gracious. this. What a hero. Gosh, she wants to dislike me so that. much. You think that's funny? I'm like so determined to make this lady like me. <laughs> gracious, what a hero. That's enough. Don't. What a dumb joke. Don't waste your such a you think that's fun. You've got a point. Like, if I don't move fast enough. Oh, um, we have a shadow box in our uh, stairwell that I put it in. And I actually picked up another uh, set to do with you guys um, in a couple weeks. So um, I have to get um, my quarterly treatment for my bad leg. So, um, to ensure that I sit Such on my butt with my foot up and behave it. myself, we will be I doing Legos in a few now, weeks. Not later, not so, um, it's in the same, like, aesthetic family as the one we did a couple weeks ago. So, yay. I thought that would be fun. What nonsense. <laughs> what a... D my life is drab and wretched by... That's enough. I, I think I think we're good on this lady. Good day. What do you want? Okay, so she's still super hostile at like fifty percent. So, hmm. Oh hey, um, there is an alien ruin that I haven't discovered yet. Man, that lady did not like me at all. Like she. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I got some other really nice feedback from it too. So, um, Twitch doesn't really have a category for like, let's hang out and do Legos, but, um, maybe if I do it enough, they'll have to. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, eyes are never a good sign. <laughs> Give to me by the chief of the deep ones. He taught me his language and his runes. This is the ancient lore of his people, which we shall follow from now until forever. Signed in the presence of twelve witnesses. Erlov Moslin. Oh, that's a whole lot of Daedra. So I actually looked before doing this video, I looked up the, um, Camel Works, um, curating, uh, was it curating curious curiosities, uh, video on hack dirt. Cause I couldn't remember the details about this book. Um, we're going to just take this. Um, and from what I understand, 
it's essentially gibberish but um yeah well we'll we'll get to the end of the quest and i'll see what what you got what you guys think but there are some layers which kind of makes sense go on hi i i hi i don't know any dharma if you're talking about that cursed Argonian swindler from Coral, I'd like to know where she is, too. She never showed up. How am I supposed to run a shop without any merchandise? You tell her I want half off on my next delivery. That seems excessive. Tell me about Hector. We scrape by. Not that we've ever had naught but trouble from outsiders like you. You'd best be moving on if you know what's good for you. This guy... This face. Okay, what's her disposition? What you're going to Four. Say. Okay, so that must be like the starting disposition for everyone here. She's like, I want my stuff, but I don't want you here. Um, don't think that's how that works. Hi, guy. You're not welcome around here. Hi, Jiv. Have you seen Dharma? Shh. We can't talk here. They'll get suspicious. Girl is um, in, in this playthrough, no, Maybe I didn't finish the main quest the line house. because the all the oblivion gates ruin Don't the landscape, and uh, I kind of want. So I want to do like some of the fun stuff first, but um, or at least what I consider the fun stuff, um, and then I want to go through and systematically complete every single oblivion gate because um, I've never done that. I've always like done a few gates over here and a few gates over there but i want to get all the sigils so that that is that is my plan but i'm playing so many games right now that this is actually the first time i've dusted off oblivion to play in at least eight weeks we don't look kindly on strangers asking questions if you need a room try muslin's in otherwise you'd best be moving on oh uh, sure thanks Oh, we don't like strangers. Go ahead. Okay, so his disposition. Yeah. Goodbye. I've played the uh Yeah, I've played the main quest line a few times. But um yeah. I just, uh, it would be nice to have all the sigils. Okay, so that that's to the underground. Oh, look, it's Blossom. So yeah, we know that she's here. Is this? Just checking on our power situation. No more mistakes there. And um, it seems to... Um, Twitch seems to be liking the... Uh, me being actually hardwired into um, our internet connection, so... You saved the church from that wicked old alien king, didn't you? Well done. Um, I have done all the quests... Uh, for this playthrough, no. Um, I've done the, like, Knights of the Nine and, um, um, all of the Mages Guild, most of the Mages Guild, but over the course of playing Oblivion over several years, I've done all the quest lines except for the Fighters Guild, just because I never had a character that was kind of built for that. Bye. Um, yeah, it's, a uh, yeah. Vlan Holden, Vlan Holder, Holder? You're not welcome around here. You have an in, dude. Who? Nah, I haven't seen any young women around. Really? Because I didn't I tell her, why would I know anything about her going missing? Not that I'm saying I ever seen her, because I haven't. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I don't feel bad. Um, 
yeah, uh, it's just a different vibe than Skyrim, but I do like Oblivion for My its own merits. This place. Not that it's any of your business. We've been down, but we got plans to bring back the good old days. You'll see. Good old days. That's almost never a good sign. Can I have a bed at least? I guess we've got a room available. 30 gold, gold for a bed a in this tiny town. That's that's three times Fine. what you Take play from any the other right, uh, the room on the left. No visitors mediocre. allowed there. No pets. No pets. Okay. Stop talking. Enough. Jeez. It's such a scam. It is. See? He's got a trap door too. I'm just saying. Well, he knows I found his trap door. He's just waiting. Oh man, look at this. Look at this sweet in here. Seriously, like the nicest room in uh, Imperial City is 50 gold and it's like a palace. Yeah, something tells me I should save. It, it is literally 30 gold for trash. Correct. We're going to sleep for one hour and see what happens. Okay, nothing. All right, nobody kidnapped me in my sleep. But I don't feel good about any of it. We're just going to go outside. All right, well, we have found the horse. We have found... Let's start some shit. Guys are bad at lying. You're the worst cult ever. What? I already told you she never showed up. Yeah, then why is her horse outside? That's my horse. Owned it for years. Now either buy something or get out. Stop um. talking. Enough. Does she? Yep, she's got a little trapdoor too. So many trapdoors. Yep, search the town for more clues. Found trapdoor. Okay. A spell for this. Mm. Okay. Do I have a potion for this? No. Probably sold it because I'm good at that. All right. You got a map for this place? Yeah. See if this person aggroes.
wormwood leaves, huh? Please, let me out of here. You must help me escape. I think these creatures... It's Amanda playing an RPG. Yes. Tonight. Sneaks all day. Thank you. Hurry. We need to get out of here quick. What's going these on? creatures kidnapped me from my room in the inn while I was sleeping. I don't know why, but I'd rather not find out. Yeah, that's super fair. Please hurry back. Too slow. Way too slow. There we go. Shadow over hack dirt. Like, that's so... <laughs> Let's just take Innsmouth, cross it out, and put hack dirt there. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna be in super nosy, but I'm gonna make sure she gets where she needs to go first. Outsider! Kill! Are you good? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Have you seen my horse? I can't leave her here. Yeah, she was behind one of these walls. Okay. I would suggest crouching, my friend. These strike me as the kind of culty people that would like kill a horse just to keep a... Uh... Okay, well, I guess we're okay for the moment. Oh, no. People. Yeah, there's Blossom. There she is. What should I do? Wait here until I come back. Fine, but don't be gone too long. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Coral. What should I do? Sounds good. I'm right behind you. Okay, I'm gonna lead her back to Coral, but this is not over. <laughs> Uh, speaking of uh, <laughs> things that guards say, um, I was editing Sunday and came across a stupid gem that I uh, uttered in Friday night stream um, and made a short out of it. And it's dumb and it's delightful. I've been having way too much fun making shorts. <laughs> They're not good, but I enjoy making them. <laughs> I, um... I just started the section of Dawnguard, uh, when you, like, visit the, uh... Oh, uh, let's see here... I don't know if I can do... Let's see. I don't know if I can put a link in here, but let me see if I can. Uh, copy link. Let's see if it'll let me do this.
It occurred to me as I was doing that. I was like, oh yeah. Ah, uh. oh, come on. I've been doing this less than a year. I'm gonna put this away. My guards don't freak out. I don't know why I'm like being short so much. It's like, oh, I did a dumb thing during a, st a stream. Let's let's do this. Hey. Here. Hi. A pleasure to speak with you. Uh, so your daughter's back. The best daughter a mother could ask for. Kind-hearted and a friend to everyone she meets. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I was literally like just trimming up the episode and I was just like, oh, that's dumb. <laughs> Let's make it into a thing. Have you found her? Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I can never repay you for your gift of my daughter's life. But you have my friendship and gratitude to the end of my days. Oh, I'm glad. I enjoy making the shorts, even when they're ridiculous. Farewell. Okay. So. So, Dharma might be safe. Right? Poor guy. His only crime was like being there um but we're gonna go back because there is so much more to go on in this place <laughs> a serious crime absolutely it actually kind of makes me feel a little sad that that's like the only way to get the paragons is to kill the, uh, the frost giants. You know, I've never successfully fought, uh, fought, um, Karstag either. I've tried a few times. It doesn't go well. Um, I know there's, like, some, some big old hacks to do it, but, like, ugh. They are ugly cute. They really are, though. Save Frost Giants. Yes, please. Okay. This is not working. Hold on. Glad I saved. Oh, I was doing so good, too. So I do appreciate the fact that frost giants look so unique to the like not frost giants, I guess. Okay, I'm going to be sad if I lose all my picks. So, we have already cracked one open. We should be able to go back to that one. It should just be open now. Yeah, they're all going into the church. Question is, is he home? I'm really sad if I broke all my lock picks. 
I might have to reload. And I might actually do that. He did! I mean, it was his cave. Um, but yeah, that's the only way to get to Paragons, is I'm pretty sure you can't... Maybe you can with a high enough skill, but with a high enough sneak skill, but I don't think you can pickpocket a Frost Giant for the Paragon. Although, that could be, like, a really interesting, like, gimmick for a Let's Play. It's like, don't kill any giants of any kind. You just gotta, you just gotta deal with it. Which one of these did we open? Oh. Why is that sign swinging so creepily? <laughs> this town, though. Yeah, here we go. That's the one we found before. That's really impressive, all things considered. Oh, why don't you have a charge? Right? Like, um, I really am enjoying, um, Glock 9's, uh, current, well, I like his, um, Seven Days, um, Let's Plays anyway, but he's doing one right now for Seven Days, um, Seven Days to Die, uh, if you don't know, it's a zombie game, it's it's like popular but only in certain crowds i guess but um he's doing a thing right now it's his like farmer glock series where he can't basically he's like a vegan which is like super limiting for the amount of, like the kinds of foods that you can eat in the game so um so like none of the like sham sandwiches or any of that stuff I use a ton of illusion spells and 30% of my brain. Well, there you go. I mean, Outsider. you kind of have to be super Outsider. creative with it. Kill. Like you would have to, you know, basically smart your way through it. That's, that's pretty much it. Oh, did you guys hear it? But yeah, I, I like those sorts of challenges, especially if it's a game that you've played just a ton of. So it's one of the reasons I switched Bellari over from just being like your usual like stabby stabby assassin because, um, yeah, I've done it. I've done literally thousands of hours of that. It's my favorite, but like, yeah, we'll, we'll add a little magic, add a little bit of definition for a refinement for a little bit of the role play part. So literally there is a key. Yeah, but I guess on the other uh, other end of things, you don't get good by using keys. <laughs> All right, so where are we on this little mini map? We want to go here. Oh my gosh, the Wabajack! Um, the last time I got the Wabajack, what was that? Like two weeks ago? All I succeeded in doing. Um, was just blowing stuff up. I tried to turn some stuff in the chickens, uh, and that I was hoping 
turned stuff into chickens, and that is not how that turned out <laughs> at all. Part of me wants to like actually use the ebony blade as it's intended, but I'm like set. You hear it? Oh, it's so creepy. It's a sweet roll. I mean, that's one way to do it. Like literally, you turn your enemies into sweet rolls and you eat them. You really do eat your enemies for breakfast then. It occurs to me that you probably have way nicer, like, sweet breakfast options than we do here. Uh... Alright, well, we got some, some chests. Oh, you don't do breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal. I think part of it is I just really like eggs. Do it, guys. Yeah! Was that worth it? Probably not. Aww. Aww. I can go a while, but um, I don't eat later in the day, so I kind of need to have breakfast. So I try to like put most of my protein up front at breakfast and then I'm usually good for quite a while. I don't know how well this comes, especially with me yapping. You can like hear them. That's kind of cool. So I totally picked this because, um, spoilers, um, Sundays, uh, let's read uh, selection will be a Lovecraft one. So I knew I did not have the lung capacity to do um, any of the longer ones like at the Mountain of Madness and stuff, but I hope it's a good selection anyway. So going back to the so creepy. Going back to the book we found. So the deep dive for the folks who actually know about like real Elder Scrolls lore. And I do really like Camel's curating curious curiosity series is um, like digging through the book and, and translating the uh, Daedric Ruins. It really is just gibberish from an email but the content suggests that um, the book, while written in Daedric, might be something written by the Slowed, um, which are a kind of slug-like race. Um, Hello? Who's there? Oh, we're doing... Are we... Okay. You shouldn't be in here, stranger. You better leave before somebody gets hurt. Okay. Well, we have we have visited the Deep Ones. We have cleared out their brethren. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, though, they're super deep in the necromancy. Obviously, these people are kidnapping travelers um, and offering them. Um, let's see here. Is there one over here? Uh, which is interesting because we don't actually see the slowed in either 
um, Oblivion or Skyrim, but having their presence turn up um, kind of indirectly is interesting. All right, so I'll be quiet for a couple minutes to see if you guys can hear the creatures. You could hear it there. Um, it's really interesting is um, on the soundtrack, you can hear some of the voices um, of the deep ones, which I think is really interesting. But yeah, clearly they're capturing people, they're offering them somehow. So my original impression of the deep ones is definitely shaded by the fact that I played a ton of Skyrim first before I played Oblivion. And there is that cabin and on Solstein, where the guy like settles in and he's you find the letters where he's trying to convince his partner to like come join him um in Solstein they're gonna start this new life together and then you start finding these like journal entries yeah um oh hi Oh yeah. I guess we're just gonna clear out the town now. Put them out of their misery. But he talks about like these whispers and how he's like drawn to dig deeper which definitely is very Lovecraftian, very like like Stephen King, like for like dig deeper to find them. Ooh. Where's he going? Um, which is very interesting, but I'll take that. So my perspective was that, okay, so you finally like reveal and um, you'd have to go back a couple months, I think, um, because we investigated that cabin on a stream. So you finally like, you, you, you move the bookshelf and you find... Oops. <laughs> Thanks, rat friends. Okay, that's hilarious. Alright, well that went well. So in my mind, my original impression is that the deep ones were in fact like like sounds you could um being made by some kind of Dwemer creation, something that they brought into being, um, very much like their automaton god of sorts. So that was my impression, but gang for life, right? Absolutely. That little guy knew what was up. So, I don't know. I, I'm sh it's very much up to debate. I mean, when when you translate the slowed and, you know, from 
the from the Daedric to the slow to to English, it, it really is just gibberish from an from an email correspondence, which is a little disappointing because like video game enthusiasts are obsessive. <laughs> we we want to know the lore, um, but yeah, I do. I like that it's up for discussion. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any, uh, any ideas of what you think is under this town, what is making those groaning, almost beckoning sounds, I'd be very interested to hear your opinion. Let's go to skin grad. Oh look, a proper inn. Let's see how much an, a bed's gonna cost us here in this lovely, clean, dry inn. Hey, can I get a room? I'm at your service tonight. I just want a bed. I have a lovely room on the corner. Okay, twenty gold. It's twenty. So gold a third tonight. less for the price. Excellent. I'm sure you'll be quite satisfied. Upstairs, I mean, I guess you could make the argument right that, like, the Sleep well. it could be Sithis, uh, maybe. Um, I'm, certainly you could make a case for it. Um, especially since uh, Sithis is more of a, like, primordial sort of being anyway. The original darkness. Uh, if you would. Okay, guys. We spent $30 on, as Weezy put it, trash. Um, for 20 gold, look at this. Damask bed covers. A beautiful view that it's too dark to see. Cozy war wall coverings. Yeah. See if same. It <laughs> okay. Um. All right. We need to up our security, and we're just gonna keep increasing speed. Um. Like, these right now are like, yeah, that's where we're at. By what right do you disturb me? What's new with you? I ran into some goblins in the woods not long ago. I love it. I love it. Look at this little balcony. Yeah. $30 a night for a room that's literally trash. Love it. Alright, well, you we can go visit Cinderian now. Um. Yeah. Hey, good to see you again. Uh, I feel like I have a sense of, like, I know how to put stuff together, but. Everything is just, my taste is a little eclectic, so it just, I don't know. Um, I also penny pinch where I can, so a lot of our furniture is definitely not new. Um, I have a coffee table that was a hand-me-down that I've had uh, since I got my first place. So um, it... it it gave someone a splinter a few weeks ago, I'm not gonna lie, but it's like a giant coffee table and it's where everyone gathers anyway, it's like in the living room. So, I don't know. I like my hand-me-downs. As promised, 
I have your moderate elixir of exploration. Use it well. Hey, I you know what? The basics. It's what it's all about. Price, if you'd like. Hey, good to see you again. God. You're truly a master explorer. To imagine you've actually acquired 30 more samples. I'm astounded. Oh, crunchy. As I'm sure you guessed, to make the grand version of the elixir of exploration, so we have not we me. Uh, I have Good a lot luck. more nerd to find, but that's okay. Oh, and as before, you can pick up your free elixir in 24 hours. It doesn't feel very free if I'm the one uh, getting the nerd root, but yeah, yeah. So I think that leaves us with five left yeah so we have to find 35 more near nerd no join the guild and fight for gold i'm good on that buddy we all i think I think that's uh that's good for tonight it's not my normal stream night um but yeah um if you guys want to see some oblivion sprinkled in once in a while i'm very happy to do so i wouldn't be starting a new character i would just be using um M marika um but yeah um yeah I, it's it's definitely a good time. It's a beautiful game. Um, I haven't done really any of the uh, the Daedric quests uh, in here, but yeah, I think it would be a good time. Um, and like I said, there'll be stuff going up um, here on Twitch and on YouTube all week um, because Halloween is my favorite holiday. And uh, we have little Poe to keep us company. <laughs> He's so weird. Anyway, I don't know, he's really cute, so kind of goes in my little shadow box. So, alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for uh, joining me for this extremely random stream. Um, and hopefully, I'll see you guys Wednesday night, I'm hoping. So, uh, as long as we don't have any more cyclones to hit the West Coast, I think we'll be okay. So, alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out, and as always, happy sipping. Uh, yes, that is a fantastic abomination, Wheezy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Good night.